Yeah, good morning, guys, and welcome. Uh, Boss Hogg's comments, his lies, and his total lack of empathy. And that's what we're going to cover in this uh, video today. The narcissist swamp tart from the Bahovel. He who likes to be heard, he who likes to be held in high esteem, a pillar of society, he who has to be always right. He knows it all. Uh, it's been opening his big fat mouth again. And um, we're going to expose him. We're going to put the facts out there. And uh, in the past, the subject today, by the way, uh, surrounds baby fear. In the past, we have covered this, but we're going to do it in a bit more detail today. And um, in a few moments, I'm going to show you a screenshot, uh, give you some information, uh, followed by a clip. And then finally, uh, I'm going to show you a screenshot to show you um, Boss Hogg's uh, most recent activity surrounding Baby Faith and expose his lies. So guys, uh, I want you to take a look at this. In this screenshot, guys, that you're looking at now, uh, this was taken from the Baby Faith Go Fund Me uh, audit video that was made by Boss Hogg. And I want you to t uh, pay particular attention uh, to this line here. Uh, Funds sent to Marisol not Marisol, Marisol, uh, Marisol being uh, the mother of Baby Faith. Now, in this audit video that he made, I'm going to play you the clip in full. Bossov revealed the theft of two and a half thousand dollars, and this is quite relevant to a screenshot that I'm going to show you. Uh, which was taken recently from another live stream. So, listen to the clip in full, listen to what the Swamp Tar has to say, and then we'll come back. Funds sent to Elizabeth Martin Beth for Marisol, August 11th, 2000, let's see where August 11th, 2018 to March 29th, or August 29th, 2018. Two thousand eight hundred eighty-five Canadian dollars, or one hundred and seventeen thousand three hundred twenty-one pesos. And he's got a note here at the bottom. Note: Some of the funds were used towards the church, uh, rendering and tiles. Uh, he did a. He, he, some of those funds were used for uh, work on the church. And some also for Terence and Beth's driveway. So what you've just listened to there now, just watched, is the uh, audit that, that was done for the GoFundMe set up for Baby Faith. And um, all along, Boss Hogg, and recently, has said that he wasn't that heavily involved. I wasn't in the know, he said. Well... For someone who wasn't in the know, uh, there he is doing the audit. So he was definitely in the know. Uh, the other thing uh, about that clip I showed you was the fact that um, Boss Hogg uh, revealed that uh, $2,500 was taken, stolen, out of that GoFundMe uh, by Terence and Beth for the church, for the driveway and for their kitchen. Now, what is significant here is this. What you didn't hear, and what we've never heard, is Boss Hogg condemning uh, Tintin and Lady Macbeth for stealing that money. And there's a very good reason behind that. Uh, you can't really accuse someone of stealing money, can you, Brian, when you were up to your neck in it? I remember very well the live streams you were doing uh, the uh, fundraisers you were organizing for this child 
who sadly passed away. I remember all that. I also remember in live streams people asking you where can they donate and you yes you would tell them to email you because you were accepting donations through the back door which brings us now uh, to boss house most recent activity on this subject now he attended a live stream he was in the comments putting comments into a live stream and uh, again trying to justify his actions in the baby faith go fund me and uh, we are going to expose his lies so guys i want you to take a look at this next screenshot so in the screenshot guys here it was taken from a live stream as i said before that boss hog attended and uh, he was putting comments in there now boss hog uh, feels the need being a narcissist to surround himself with people who agree with him and if these people uh, would only actually open their eyes and see this absolutely deplorable scumbag for what he is uh, they may have a different opinion but for whatever reason um, they think he is right so the comments that he left guys uh, surrounded uh, Marisol not Marisol that's important Marisol being baby faith's mother and the first comment is Marisol offered to do a video about it about it all and I told her uh, I would think about it I know it is still painful for her now what he's referring to there is the fact that um, he was being attacked and rightly so about the theft and the skimming that went on on this baby faith uh, fundraiser and he said Marcel offered to do a video well Brian uh, I'm going to challenge you there because in a live stream you distinctly said that you were going to ask Marcel to do a video now all of a sudden to justify yourself you're saying Marcel offered to do that video which is absolute lies and absolute bullshit uh, he then goes on his uh, narrative uh, to claim that uh, channels like us uh, they are just trying to build channels for dollars more lies and more bullshit there's no videos on our channel that are monetized Brian so you need to forget that he comes out with these statements uh, to cover his own back because he has no empathy he has no guilt about what he has done his third comment and you're right they would say pressured her or bribed her to say the truth and there you have it uh, people in that live stream agreeing with him uh, trying to uh, concoct a narrative and support him when we all know the facts and we used his words that was two and a half thousand dollars stolen out of that GoFundMe and I want to go back to something here where he says I know it's still painful for her her being Marisol well of course it's painful Brian of course it's painful she lost a child and you and your scumbag friend fleeced that GoFundMe. You took from a very sick child. And I said it before and I'll say it again. This is one of the main reasons why this channel 
is up and running because we will not see absolute scumbag swamp tards like you prosper on the back of the local population be it the old infirm be it the uh, children be it those that live in poverty in the philippines you are a parasite just like your friend old Tintin and you were not forced uh, to get involved in that GoFundMe or any fundraising um, why would you uh, care about a child uh, that was seriously ill when you've abandoned all your own children and the most deplorable thing you ever said was the fact that uh, the child Baby Faith died uh, because the trolls, yes, you despicable swamp tar that you are. The trolls stopped us from fundraising. Well, there was $27,000 in total raised and that child still didn't get any treatment. $27,000 is more than enough to start any treatment. You were trying to justify your actions and cover up your criminality, you scumbag that you are, you and uh, old Tintin, and blame trolls. When the fact is that um, you are the biggest troll on YouTube because you're supposed to be a YouTuber, a, a successful vlogger, and yet you can attend live streams that we've just pointed out and surround yourself with an army of trolls brian granville smith listen up and uh, listen uh, very clearly to what i've got to say this channel will continue to expose you every step of the way you will never prosper on youtube you will never amount to anything on youtube you will never attract any blue chip company uh, to sponsor you because we will keep exposing you as long as you and tintin uh, exist on youtube we're ready to steer anyway guys um i think this uh, video yet again uh, proves that the narcissist uh, from the Bohovel, he who thinks he's all high and mighty on his big white charger, has been proven once again to be an absolute swamp sod. You're an e-beggar, you're a scumbag, and as I said before, we are here to steer. So guys, till the next time, Bye for now. Final push to get this farm this crack of lacking.